Stone Fox. Chapter 9. The Race. Searchlight sprang forward with such force that little Willie couldn't hang on. If it weren't for a lucky grab, he would have fallen off the sled for sure. In what seemed only seconds, little Willie and Searchlight had traveled down Main Street, turned onto North Road, and were gone, far, far ahead of the others. They were winning, at least for the moment. Stone Fox started off dead last. last. He went slowly down Main Street, that everyone was sure something must be wrong. Swish! Little Willie Sled flew by the schoolhouse on the outskirts of town, and then by the old deserted barn. Swish! 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 Other racers followed in hot pursuit. Go, Searchlight, go! Little Willie sang out. The cold wind pressed against his face, causing his good eye to shut almost completely. The snow was well packed. It was going to be a fast race today, the fastest that they had ever run. The road was full of dangerous twists and turns, but Little Willie did not have to slow down, as the other racers did. With only one dog and a small sled, he was able to take the sharp turns at full speed, without risk of sliding off the road or losing control. Therefore, with each turn, Little Willie pulled farther and further ahead. Swish! The sled rounded a corner, sending snow flying. Little Willie was smiling. This was fun. About three miles out of town, the road made a half circle around a frozen lake. Instead of following the turn, Little Willie took a shortcut right across the lake. This was tricky going, but Searchlight had done it many times before. Little Willie had asked Mayor Smiley if he was permitted to go around the lake, not wanting to be disqualified. As long as you leave town heading north and come back on South Street, the mayor had said, anything goes. None of the other racers attempted to cross the lake, not even Stone Fox. The risk of falling through the ice was just too great. Little Willie's lead increased. Stone Fox was still running in last place, but he was picking up speed. At the end of five miles, Little Willie was so far out in front that he couldn't see anybody behind him when he looked back. He knew, however, that the return five miles going back into town would not be that easy. The trail along South Road was practically straight and very smooth, and Stone Fox was sure to close the gap. But by how much? Little Willie didn't know. Doc Smith's house flew by on the right. The tall trees surrounding her cabin seemed like one solid wall. Grandfather's farm was coming up next. When Searchlight saw the farmhouse, she started to pick up sleep. Speed. No, girl, Little Willie, out. Not yet. As they approached the farmhouse, Little Willie thought he saw someone in Grandfather's bedroom window. It was difficult to see with only one good eye. Then some, that's the someone was a man with a full beard. It couldn't be, but it was. It was Grandfather. Grandfather was sitting up in bed. He was looking out the window. Little Willie was so excited he couldn't think straight. He started to stop the sled, but Grandfather indicated no, waving him on. Of course, Little Willie said to himself, I must finish the race. I haven't won yet. Go, searchlight, Little Willie shrieked. Go, girl. Grandfather was better. Tears of joy rolled down Little Willie's smiling face. Everything was going to be all right. And then Stone Fox made his move. One by one, he began to pass the other racers. He went from last place to eighth, then from eighth place to seventh, then from seventh to sixth, sixth to fifth. He passed the others as if they were standing still. He went from fifth place to fourth, then to third, then to second, until only Little Willie remained. But Little Willie still had a good lead. In fact, it was not until the last two miles of the race that Stone Fox got his first glimpse of Little Willie since the race had begun. The five Samoyeds looked magnificent as they moved effortlessly across the snow. Stone Fox was gaining, and he was gaining fast, and Little Willie wasn't aware of it. Look back, Little Willie, look back. But Little Willie didn't look back. He was busy thinking about Grandfather. He could hear him laughing 
and playing his harmonica. Finally, little Willie glanced back over his shoulder. He couldn't believe what he saw. Stone Fox was nearly on top of him. This made little Willie mad, mad at himself. Why hadn't he looked back more often? What was he doing? He hadn't won yet. Well, no time to think of that now. He had to race to win. He had a race to win. Go, searchlight. Go, girl. But Stone Fox kept gaining, silently, steadily. Go, searchlight, go. The lead Samoyeds passed Little Willie and pulled up even with searchlight. Then it was the nose ahead, but that was all. Searchlight moved forward, inching her nose ahead. Then the Samoyeds regained the lead. Then searchlight. When you enter the town of Jackson on South Street, the first buildings come into view about a half mile away. Whether well, searchlight took those buildings to be grandfather's farmhouse again, no one can be sure. But it was at that time that she poured on the steam. Little Willie's sled seemed to lift up off the ground and fly. Stone Fox was left behind, but that, but not that far behind.